We could fix some real problems in this city. You have a lot to learn about the way things are done around here. I'm out here looking after my neighbors and my family, something you know nothing about. We'll get through this, I promise. I thought you didn't make promises. I changed my policy. My name is Chantal Riley, and I play the role of Angela Cook on Pearson. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. I'm angry that a place my family and I called home our entire life was torn down so fast, we didn't have time to pack. Angela is Jessica's cousin. Can they just throw us out like this? It's gonna be all right. Jessica comes back to Chicago, trying to help out her family. What's she doing here? Angela. Kind of get to see the tension between the two cousins. I'm trying to get to know you. We definitely don't need to be saved by you so you can feel better about yourself. You get to see my struggle as a single mother living with her mother as well. And you see the grittier side of where Jessica came from. I don't know her. She's from the bougie branch of the family. Angela's motive this season is justice. Living on the street homeless is not going to change anything. No, but living right across from City Hall might. For her, her family, her community, as well, and for the south side of Chicago. You think we'll take the scraps you're handing us and give up? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Mayor. We aren't going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I'll call you later. Hello, Carrie. Ms. Pearson, I understand you're joining our happy little family. I'm Bethany Joy Lenz, and I play Carrie Allen on Pearson. Carrie is the city attorney, and she's the youngest city attorney in the country. You know your problem, Jessica? Your ego. You can't even apologize without justifying it. Jessica Pearson works technically under Carrie, but she doesn't do anything that Carrie's telling her to do. You don't like me. It's not that I don't like you. I don't trust you. And Carrie can't really fire her. You have too much on your plate. Maybe Jessica Pearson can make some headway. Since when does she do anything for you? Carrie's arc is dealing with what it's like to be so young in such a powerful position and struggling to make sure that other people know she deserves to be there on her own merits and that it wasn't favors. The truth is Bobby is mayor because of you. Nobody knows it. She's already got an emotional issue going on with the mayor. I miss you. And now she's got somebody else coming in sort of you usurping a lot of the authority that she's already had. You want to come at me? Come at me. But stay the hell away from my department and any of the lawyers who work for me. Are you threatening me? I'm warning you. Congratulations. Thanks to you, today's my last day. I'm Isabella Reza, and I play Yoli Castillo. It's not true. Mira en el espejo. Oh, I do. I see someone who gets up at six every morning to feed the homeless and still has the time to know the names of every single person in this place. Yoli is this outspoken young woman. She becomes Jessica's executive assistant. I can't very well hire an assistant that doesn't know everybody in City Hall. But I think Jessica becomes my mentor. When you keep secrets long enough, you begin to sense when other people are doing the same. Yoli's driven by her idealism. She's a DACA recipient. She's a dreamer, and that's very current. Okay, what's going on? Your mother had her checked in with ICE today. Oh my God. What's happening politically in our country? Immigration oh, no. is part of the storyline on this show, and I love that. The hearing to fight deportation is in a few weeks. I don't want to go back. Yoli and Jessica, they're grappling with the world of dirty politics and power and money interest versus people's interest. It's corrupt, but she's helping Jessica navigate this new world. I'm passionate about the things that are important, and I am not afraid to push on the issues that I care about. Isn't that what we're supposed to do here? Carrie, Yoli, and Angela. This cast of women characters is wonderful. Am I that much of a bitch? <sighs> One of the things that excites me is the relationships between the characters, and just fans will love that Jessica Pearson is back. You're acting like a woman who has nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. Audiences, they've only ever seen her in the office. They're gonna enjoy watching Jessica Pearson open up a whole new world for them. I'm lonely, and I hate it. Gina in the forefront as a African-Cuban woman. I was so excited. In the original suits, she's very stern and strong, and with this, we're getting a bigger picture and a greater sense of who she is, and I feel like that's gonna allow fans to love her even more. Jessica, you really opened my eyes. It's politics, and it's not pretty. We're in the middle of a war. The final season of Suits. If you continue to cross lines, then you'll be fired. 
and everything is about to change. I have worked my entire career to get where I am. Don't take this away from me. The closest thing I have to family are the people at this firm. I think they're everything to me, and I don't want to go anywhere. What are we going to do about it? But as one story ends... I need to know you're all in. A new one begins. How are you, Jessica? With a new series, Pearson. I know you had a reputation in New York as a killer. Then you know what you're up against. Politics is a dirty business. You have a lot to learn about the way things are done around here. You don't know anything about politics. Maybe not, but I do know about power. And if you sit still, you won't have any. These are dangerous people, Jessica. This is not your world. You aren't scared, are you? Suits, the final season, and Pearson, all new on USA.